Hello everyone. I know that some of you have been eagerly awaiting for me to come back with another Daphne's Diary video. So we're going to work on some projects in my Daphne's Diary journal today. Um, so we'll fill up some more pages. Um, it's getting close to being filled. I just love all the pages in this one here. And I'm going to be using two of Daphne's Diary magazines. I'm going to be using um, some of the images from issue number three. I shared a flip through of this magazine in my last Daphne's Diary video, um, which I'll leave the link to in the description box below. But because I've been away on holiday, I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. So um, gorgeous images in this one here. So we'll have a play with this. Um, and we'll also take a look at issue number four. This was waiting on my doorstep when I got back from holiday. Um, this one is a special edition because it's Daphne's Diaries um, 100th, 100th issue that gosh get your teeth back in Nina that is really difficult to say um so 100th issue with lots of extras and packed with creative inspiration this one's quite a bit thicker than um the previous magazine so this has got 150 pages and I think this one is 126 so it's quite a bit fatter loads inside it so let's have a quick flip through of this one here let's have a look at the front and back cover so that's the front then we've got the inside front cover. Isn't that beautiful with all, the, all those lovely pink polka dots? Um, outside back and inside back cover. That's just gorgeous. And then I'm going to flick through from the back to the front just because it's easy for me to show you that way. Oh my goodness, look at all of these pretty um, handbags. I'm a real handbags girl. Um, love this um, bunny rabbit here. Um, book tips. We've got all of these gorgeous pages. Aren't these just beautiful, real sort of summery, sunshiny pages? Um, and of course, an article giving you some ideas as to how you could use these. I probably won't do this, but you know, these would be nice to cut out and use in a journal page. What else have we got? Just really quickly flipping through this. I love this page here. We've got the usual poster. Let me just um, open um, this up. And really practical for using in junk journals. Really nice size. So we've got cakes and banners, all kinds of things for us to use as focal images um, in our journals. I particularly like um, these ones here and, um, and this one. So that's the poster and let's pop that back in really like this um, we've got um, you know one of the many poems that um, are always included these pages are just absolutely beautiful as well I love these of course, I like using the text pages as well. Um, but for instance, you know, that cut out, this cut out, some of these, you know, fussy cut images, absolutely beautiful to use. Love this. I've been drying flowers, so I will have another project with some dried flower inspiration to share with you soon as well. Love these designs as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Who's this? Bert Quizenga? Um, ceramic art, absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, you could use these pieces as washi tape. This is great for a background. We've got recipes. We've got these beautiful um, images here. Let me just um, hold these up. Whoops, I'm using my um, poster. Oh, we've got some. Um, that's double double sided. Are those the the same on the front and the back? Yes, I think they are. What else have we got? We've got travel articles as usual, home inspiration. There's just so much in these um, magazines. Quickly flipping through. Love the colourfulness of this. This, for instance, is not quite so much my style, but I absolutely love the um, owl. Um, the camera's fun as well. Isn't that a beautiful image? And I love the cake. Oh, we've got lots of lots of cakes. Love this um, black and white image here and um, this as a border on this camera. You know, these are absolutely great for us to be able to cut out. I love these. Um, these are lampshades and, um, and cushions. So who's the designer here? Studio Limonada. Absolutely love her style. Very, very me, very pretty. Beautiful images here for us to, to use. I love this chair. 
Isn't that beautiful? Look at these pretty um, images. I love these to, to cut out as well. Um, you know, you've got loads of uh, recipes in this edition as usual. These would be nice to use, maybe grouped together. Invitations, um, we might be able to use these. I would personally cover the invitation part out and use this um, in my journal. What else have we got? Drinks, recipes. Um, oh, giving you an idea as to how to use the um, poster here as well. Isn't that pretty? Look at these, gorgeous. Very, very nice. I like this um, this star, I really like her dress actually. Pretty images here, which you could use for inspiration for water colouring, for instance. Beautiful focal images here that we can use. Another, another cake. I skipped a page. Love these bottles as well. Now I have seen this done before. These are flowers that are made out of plastic bottles. And I saw these, funnily enough, um, outside our doctor's surgery during COVID, where we were all queuing up that somebody had made beautiful flowers that were all planted into the, well, just stuck into the ground. And they were really, really effective. So that's reminded me of that project. And it shows you how to do them, just melting the plastic with a glue gun. We've got some um, graffiti style art here. That's a beautiful image, isn't it? We've got all of these, really lovely to use, postage um, stamps. These would be really nice to, to cut out. What else have we got? Travel articles. This is a really pretty image as well. I love that pen. I would fussy cut that out. All of the um, Daphne's diary covers, um, a world of Daphne in a hundred covers. These are pretty as well, aren't they? Um, showing you how to make charms to use for bracelets and um, necklaces. Stickers for us to, to use. More sort of cookery designs. We've got some uh, Beatrix Potter style images here. Love this image. So, so much for us to use. Aren't these pretty as well? So ideas for um, gift wrapping. I wish I could uh, gift wrap like this. I probably could if I would spend more time on it. I sort of tend to leave things until the last minute. Love these little black and white images here. Look at all of these um, bug images and things and turtles, cows, beautiful owl. And then we've got some more scrapbooking pages for us to use. Love all of these um, numbers. Birthday cake, more images to fussy cut. Love this one here. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful flowers. Plant pots. You see, I love using the, um, the, the, the script pages as well. Love these um, watercolour style flowers. Again, sort of inspiration for your watercolouring, or you could fussy cut these out. Love this as well. We could turn that into a really nice tag. And that's it. That's the contents of issue number four. Let's have a look and see what we can um, put together. Now, I'll probably start off using some of the images from Daphne's Diary issue number three. I don't know whether I'll get round to issue number four today um, or not, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I think as well, for those of you that are based overseas, you might not have received this one, this one yet, but hopefully you've got this one. So, you know, with any luck, it'll give you some ideas. Now, I I don't know whether you can remember, I shared this at the end of my last Daphne's Diary video. This was from the Christmas um, edition and I absolutely love these frames and I thought these would be ideal to cover up some of the smaller pages I've got um, in my journal. Um, so I'm going to see what we can do with these. I've also pulled out some frames. Um, I've got a few of these. Let me just move those out of the way. Um, these are the frames that I had from Journal Say in my haul. 
and I just thought these might be perfect. I don't know, what do you think? And will save me having to be too accurate with um, some of this delicate and detailed um, fussy cutting. I thought um, these would add some um, texture and a bit of dimension. So I've pulled out um, a few of these and so I'm going to see what I can do. I've roughly fussy cut these out. I'm keeping this as well because I absolutely love that little um, motif. And I'm going to start off with this one um, here. So I'm going to start off just by fussy cutting that little saying out. So we've got that and I can pop that to one, one side so that we can um, maybe use use that as, as well. Let's try and cut this as neatly as I can. Um, that's really cute, I think. Let's get rid of um, these, these bits. And then I think what I want to do is have it like that. So I'm just going to cut this bottom um, swirly bit off because um, I don't really need, need that. And hopefully that will be about right. And let's see if that will fit my my frame. I might need to um, cut some more bits off. No, you see, that's absolutely perfect. And so what I'll do is just add some glue um, around the outside here and and stick that down just like just like that. Bring in the art glitter glue, and I'm just going to add a tiny bit just around the outside here. I think that should be enough. Is there any orientation this needs to go in? I don't think so. I've got a piece of uh, deli paper here as well, just to help me. And I think I think that's quite um, quite even. What do we think? Isn't that pretty? Can add a little bit of ink in frayed burlap. Let's see what. Um, what that looks like. Yeah, you see, that's um, that's not too dark. I think if I'd have used something like walnut stain, it would have been too too dark. I've got some paper here that I need to just cut away. There we go. That's that done. Yeah, this is the uh, perfect colour. So that's that's that. Um, do I want to? ink around my saying whilst I'm at it. I think I probably do. Oh, this is really thin. See if I can um, do this. Yeah, that looks, um, that looks better. And then bring in my small page. And let's see how, how this will fit. And you see that's going to be absolutely perfect. And so I'm just going to stick this on as well. I can see another bit here that's um, that's poking through that um, I need to cut off. I just love how simple that is and that it's filled that really small space. So I've got another small page here and I thought that I might be able to use this sheep here um, next to my lovely little um, field mouse. And I've got three frames and I'm not sure which one to, to use. I've got this one here, which I thought might go with the colouring of the, the basket. You see, that works really well. I think I, I would have to do some jiggery pokey, uh, pokery around the ears. I've also got this one here and this flower um, just acts as a little embellishment there to her, her head. So I could perhaps um, have that. I'd want to centralise that. Um, really, really well. So that's another option. Or I use the same frame um, again. I don't know whether it makes a difference which way up I have it. Oh my gosh, I'm just really undecided. I quite like the simplicity of this one here. I think it would be between that, that one there and, and this one. What do we think? You see, that one's really pretty, isn't it? But I don't know whether I'd be able to centralise this little um, inner frame here. I think that's the thing that's um, that's bothering me with that one. Perhaps if I had it at, um, at that angle there. Shall we go for that one? Around the um, excess so that that fits on nicely. We've got that flower just as an embellishment um, on her head like that. I think that's going to work really well. But what I do want to do, let's just move that out of the way, bring in um, a craft mat and my X-Acto knife. And I just want to carefully cut around her ears 
and I'm going to go off camera to do this so that I don't sort of end up screwing screwing it up just so that I can have her ears whoops she's pinged out of the way just so that I can have her ears just poking outside of the frame I've lost my other really good craft knife. Stephen was doing some work on the garage and I think he borrowed it and um, has run off with it. But you'll see what I mean. What will happen is that I will be able to, come on Nina, you're all fingers and thumbs. I'll be able to just poke her ear under. Do you see what I mean? So I'm going to do the same with the other side. Ooh, there we go. That's what that's going to look like. I think that's much better. So I'm just going to take this off now and again, just add some glue around the outside of my frame. I think around the edge again. I just think that makes all the difference. It just gives a really nice edge to the little flowers. And what have I done with my little tiny quote as well? I'll do the same with that. And then I can just stick that down there like that. Doesn't that look so sweet? And it goes really well with the page opposite. And I just couldn't leave this little sheet behind. So I've decided to put um, her here next to this page. And I think it just adds continuity and just a little bit um, of cohesion as well. So I've used all three of those really pretty images. So what shall we do next? I want to tackle um, something to go opposite this page here and I found this beautiful image this is from issue number three so I'm just going to go ahead and um, let's oh I've cut two pages out oh isn't that pretty as well we might um, see if we can do something with that but I just thought this image here just worked so beautifully it could be um, her pretty face couldn't it so um, so I want to to use this so I'm just going to fussy cut this out I'll show you what um, I've got so far I've cut my image out I've taken the page out of the journal and I don't know whether you can see I've got um, a shortfall here so I need something to fill the top and the bottom. I also need to chop off the, the sides. I think I'd quite like to have my image um, here like this. Now I've pulled out a couple of washi tapes. I've got this one and I've also got this um, red. And if I bring in the other image, I mean, both would work, but I don't know. I think this one here is more in keeping with the style of this image. So I think it's that one that I'm going to use. And so that I've got more of the washi tape um, showing, I'm just going to take just a little slither off the top and the bottom of this and trim it down at the sides. It's really well. So I just want to stick down some of my washi tape and I'm going to add some glue stick to this because this is a really old one. It's just a cheap one that I got from Poundland or somewhere like that. But um, you know, the image is just perfect. And we'll stick this on. I can just um, use my deli paper just to save my mixed media paper underneath and I'm going to stick this down top and bottom. It's like such a pretty and cohesive spread and I'm just wondering if we could add another touch of detail. I'm going to fussy cut this blue butterfly out just around the edges again and I'm just wondering if we could have that in her hair. Uh, yes, I think that's where I want it to go and I'm going to leave this dimensional just by adding just a little bit of glue in the centre and we'll pop that, don't overthink it Nina, we'll pop her just there. Isn't that gorgeous? Whether you can see we've got all of this lovely dimension by not gluing the butterfly down really flat, really pretty. Of course it'll get squashed once the journal is closed but you know, we can lift it back up again. So I want to tackle this page here and I found the perfect um, image. I want to use this one here and I think it's because the yellow hearts just go really well as um, a background. So I'm going to take this page here out. The easiest way to do this is for me to put this over the side just so that I can see how much I need to trim off and then I can just make some um, pen marks. I can always trim this down a little bit more. Let's put a few dotted lines so that I can see where, where I need to trim. That's pretty accurate so I can just go ahead and um, stick this down as well and I'm just going to use a glue stick to do that. So I'm just going to apply glue all over this page here. I'm happy with that page and I really like how that looks as a background to these two pages here. 
So next up, I want to do something with this double page spread and I've got um, an idea for this as well. Um, I want to use this poem and what I'm going to do is go away and fussy cut these gorgeous flowers out. Um, and then I want to have um, a think about what lines from this poem um, I might be able to use. Cut out my butterflies, I think that's enough. And I've just chosen a few sentences from um, the poem. Home to a thousand or more butterflies. Hang on, let me see if I can. Home to a thousand or more butterflies. Let's see if we can get this to fit. Flitting around the flowers and up to the skies. I think what I'll have to do is sort of maybe just play around with this. Nature's plight we cannot ignore. That we take care of it is all she wishes for. And that's all I want to use. It was just a little bit, I don't know, corny, dare I say corny, um, where as I like that much better. And what I'm going to do now is just um, glue these little butterflies down in a dimensional way, as I did before. So we'll leave them in place. I quite like that um, that layout. And I'm just going to add glue just on the antenna, just because the antenna are really fragile and I don't want um, them to tear. And then the wings were just remain dimensional and so I'm just going to go ahead now and just glue glue this down my page all glued down and I just feel as if there is something missing over here so I've cut out another butterfly which I'm just going to pop there I've inked around the words but not the butterflies I just like the subtlety of the butterflies just on their own where they sort of kind of mingle into the background so we just add a tad of glue and that's that page done. I'm really happy um, with, with how that's turned out. I like as well that we can see the quote from the previous page, a dream is a wish your heart makes, live your dream with passion. Um, and so that's that. I don't know whether you can see how dimensional the, the butterflies are. Of course, they will go flat once I close the page, but you know, I can always fluff them up again. Now for this side of the page, I want to use this. I think it's gorgeous. And I'm thinking I can use this here. Um, and I've got an idea as to how I can decorate that and make it my own as well. So let's have a look. Let's see how much of this I can I can fit on. I want to make sure that um, she's pretty much centralised. So I'm just going to make a couple of marks again if I can find what I've done with my my pen. So we'll just make a Make a mark here. I can trim it down if I if I need to. I'd rather have it um, a little bit bigger than I need. So I'm just going to cut this portion out. There we go. Really happy with that. And then to finish it off and to add um, something to make it my own, I thought I could add a butterfly. Now this is the larger butterfly that was on this page here. We've also got the butterfly that was on the bottom of the page. That's the bottom of this part here. It might be way too big, but I'm going to try it. So I'll fussy cut this out and we'll. See See what it looks like. Here we are, I've fussy cut the butterfly out and it's just way too big, it's far too overpowering. I prefer this one here, so I'm just going to glue that on. I absolutely love how this page has turned out. I did have to do some jiggery pokery because I ended up creasing this in the wrong place and that was really bothering me, um, which has meant that I've needed to add um, a fold and a piece of washi tape on this page here. But I think that really adds to the page. So moving on, what do I want to do next? I want to do something um, with this little um, spread here. And I'd like to use this um, post I'd like to use the quote, the butterfly counts not months but moments and has um, has time enough. And then I'd also like to use this image here. I really like using the posters um, as and when I can. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to chop this off because I'd like to have this across this spread um, here and then maybe pop the butterflies in the centre as my centre spread. So the first thing I'm going to do is just measure how deep this page here is. And it is just over seven and a half inches. So let's have a look at this and see what we can do. So I'm going to cut this down at just over seven and a half inches as well. So what I think I'll do is I'll take these two pages um, out. Let me just um, do this. And then, so it's going to go... It's like that, wasn't it? 
and then I can see how I can get this to fit. I'm going to line it up with the top of the page here. Let's have a look and see if I can, you see, centrally, I think it will be about there. So if I move, move that down, I'm going to work from the bottom and that's how I'm going to stick it down. I'm just going to use a glue stick to glue this on. Um, I've got myself a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to add glue over both sides of this because I think that's the cleanest and easiest way to glue things down. I've taken my pages off the parchment paper and let's see if we can um, do, do this. I'm just going to have it, have it there like um, like that. So I'm going to uh, need to trim some off the top because I've cut my pa uh, page slightly short, but you know, that's okay. So glad to say that's worked beautifully and that's how it looks in the journal. So I'm going to take this out again because what I want to do now is just put the wildflower page onto this centre centre spread. So again, what I'm going to do is just add glue all over this page here and stick this on. And then we need to embellish it, don't we, with some uh, beautiful butterflies. Let's have a look and see what we can do to jazz this up just a little bit. I've cut out some of these butterflies. I've unfortunately cut one of the antenna off this one here, but we can... We can perhaps patch that that up, but I'm thinking that maybe we can have the butterflies something like like this. I want three. Maybe I do away with that one there. I've also got this one. Um, these are cut out from that previous page that um, that I did. And you know, I like the way that that looks. I like the simplicity. I think the colour scheme goes really well with the lettering. So I'm going to go ahead with that, and I'm going to stick those down. And those have still got a little bit of dimension, as you can see. And then I thought we could have this little butterfly that I cut out from the top of the page, maybe somewhere like this. Which direction do I want that to um, go on? And then I've cut out um, one of the Tim Holtz um, small talk um, words as well. A dream is a wish your heart makes. And I thought that could maybe go um, somewhere somewhere like like this. So I'm just going to stick these on as well and that just adds um, just a little bit of detail to that um, that beautiful spread. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that spread. It's just absolutely beautiful. The butterfly in the quote just, you know, finishes that off. And then I just want to do one more page. I want to use this image here. Um, this is an embroidery artist, Heidi Coerce, I think um, you pronounce her. Um, and I'm going to fussy cut this out and let's see if we can add this to the journal and do something with it as well. And I've decided I want this to go next to this beautiful dog page here. I think the colour works absolutely beautifully. I've got this leftover butterfly from one of the previous pages and I'm wondering if I can use this as well. I love how that looks. Now, where do I want it to go? Do I want it to go down down here or do I want it to go up here like this? I think um, I want it to go there. I think that's beautiful. And I'm toying with the idea as well as um, of making some antenna out of this twine. Um, I think I'm going to cut um, some of this off and let's see what um, see what this looks like. This is quite um, thin twine. And you see, I think that will make um, all the difference. Let's just, let's just try it. Add a little bit of um, detail. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to fiddle um, around with this to make sure that um, it's squeezed in enough that um, they don't splay out um, too wide. I think that spreads turned out really well. I think the colours um, go really well. The butterfly matches the colour scheme in the dog. Um, I just think that's beautiful. So let's go back to the beginning and um, have a look at, and see what we've done today. Of course, we did the sheep. We've got another one of these um, further on. 
Then um, the butterfly counts, not months, but moments and has time enough. Just love how dimensional these are. Really pretty page. Love this spread. I think um, that poster was just absolutely gorgeous. Really glad that um, I found a place to, to use it. Love this heart page here. Um, the little girl um, in sort of sepia colours. Really beautiful. Of course, we've got this little spread here and um, this spread and then we've got um, we've got another one of those sheep somewhere as well, haven't we? There it is, um, the little sheep here. And then I think um, the last page was was this one. So I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing how I put those pages together, and I hope it's given you some ideas and inspiration. Um, I will be back soon um, because, of course, I want to do some um, pages using the hundredth um, edition. So you know, I'll be back to share some ideas using that very very soon. But if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most most importantly, thanks for watching and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.